guys, I'm Carter Sheridan. If you guys don't know me, I started YouTube five years ago when I was living in my parents' basement. What is up, Sharers? Welcome to my first ever vlog. And I started filming on my iPhone and editing on my laptop, and I just filmed videos with my brother and Liz. Flash forward to five years later, I bought a mega mansion with a 250 car garage, which is perfect for me because I love cars. And behind me, I'm gonna take you on a tour of how I spent $2 million on cars. So let's get started. Starting off with a crowd favorite is my 2017 Lamborghini Aventador S. I've had this thing for a few years and it's super fast, super flashy, and it's super fast on the road. But I've always wondered, can it off-road? <laughs> I first bought this car back at the original Team Roar House in California, and I've been wanting to off-road it ever since, so here we go, literally touching gravel for the first time. I have the front lift up, which gives me a couple more inches of clearance, but overall, this car is, uh, you know, it's pretty low. Okay, we made it to the field. Oh! 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 <laughs> that was so cool! Oh my gosh, guys, this is ridiculous. I've never seen a Lambo driving through grass. I cannot believe I'm literally drifting a Lambo. Oh! That's crazy. Oh, wait, wait, dude, the intake is full of grass. You tore the field up. Up next is this dirty old Lamborghini. This is the most cursed and haunted car of the entire collection. This is the second 1985 Lamborghini Countach 5000 that I've owned and they've both been a disaster. Let me just give you a little recap of how crazy this car is. This is the first Lamborghini that I bought before the Aventador and we did some crazy stuff. Bailey's been on the roof, stove has stolen it, we've done flips over it, we've done it in like last to leave Lamborghini videos, a bunch of crazy stuff. And then the bad things started. This thing has gotten spray paint and vandalized. And then during the LA riots, someone hopped over and actually ripped off the Lamborghini emblem. So this is no longer original to the car. This is, it actually goes like a Mercedes or something, but it looks almost perfect. So I have that on there now. It broke down on me a number of times. It's been in and out of the shop. It's been on flatbed trailers like three times or more than I can count. So then I did the logical thing. I decided, you know what, let's sell it. So I had Matt take some photos and do a cold start to post it. And what does he do? He drives it into a tree and smashes the front bumper. Luckily, my boy Josh from Electra Motors is amazing with cars he was able to fix it perfectly like you could never even tell he repainted the whole thing added new parts and pieces to make it so it would never break down again and then it caught on fire oh, all aboard check it out guys this car is the boat car it's literally a boat and a car combined and it looks like it's something literally from spongebob the tv show but in real life this thing is a ford van that was made with a real boat a 1975 sea ray and it literally feels like you're driving a boat because of the size of this thing it's huge you can have like eight people easily in the back you can sit on the front you can climb up on the flybridge and the best part is it's 100 percent street legal so i can do this Woohoo! on the road let's go i thought the boat car would be impossible to one up until i found this next vehicle that is because this jet ski drives on water and this jet ski drives on land check it out Woo by far my absolute favorite has got to be the monster truck. I mean, just look at this thing, it's huge. And to get up it, you literally have to climb the tire. I mean, that is just so ridiculous. And then you gotta reach over to open the door like this and then do the splits and then carefully get into the driver's seat. I also love how amazing this thing sounds. Oh, because it literally sounds like a real monster truck. If you guys are wondering, this is a full-size monster truck and it can absolutely crush things. We've driven this thing over cars, a coffee shop, and I've done some pretty wild things with it. It's so big, it's kind of hard to fit in one frame. I'm doing my best right now. This is by far my most dangerous car that I own. That is because we converted this PT Cruiser to be fully remote control, just like a toy car. We've almost crashed this thing a few times and it is so dangerous that it just sits here in the garage now i think it's retired and who could forget the dune buggy where we had this in the last to leave rv and took it to the sand dunes and this is our longest car the team raw limo and this tiny pink lambo 
And I also have these mini Jeeps, and this one I modified to drive completely underwater. And this weird one that's kind of like a medium-sized Jeep. And this Porsche that used to be pink. And I have a few other cars that did not make it in this video because we ran out of time. But guys, this is my passion. I love cars, and every single thing that I purchase, I do it for the sake of making amazing content for you guys. This is the jet boat that Liz surprised me with a couple of years ago. Oh my god! <laughs> this jet boat is super small, and it's only 12 feet long, and it's crazy fast. We took it to Unspeakable's house and we had a ton of fun with it. <laughs> Flash forward to today, now we have a super mini version of this coming in at the world's smallest gas powered jet boat. Oh my gosh, Liz, you actually fit. Oh my God, and there's two cup holders. Look at this, the detail. The girls are in the boat, we're gonna load her up. Here we go. Oh wow, that's really It's so light, <laughs> even with two people in it. Things are getting exciting because we're getting closer to going in the water. Woo! We got it back to the in the water and I'm so excited. Trailer's touching water, Liz. Let's go. Real exciting. Oh my gosh, she flipped. It's a oh. lot. Carter. I don't know if we can put get you on board, Garth. Just be gentle. Like, no. let me lean. Okay. Okay, we're both. Okay. Good. Get it started. Ready? Okay. I think you're good. We are actually going on the world's smallest boat. Liz, what the heck? It's a jet boat. We're getting the motor warmed up right now before we really get on it. Here we go, guys. Reaction, you ready? Three, two, one, boom. Oh, what? Look how small it is. Hold on, I need to process this. Wait, is this the same size as my boat? No way, it's actually a mini jet boat. The same exact rails are on this. Bro, the same windshield. We got an engine in the back. <laughs> no way, dude, this thing is insane. All right, you ready? Oh, I'm so scared right now. This is literally the world's smallest mini jet boat. Dude. to distribute weight where it like feels like it's gonna flip. When Carter said uh, we were gonna go wakeboarding, I didn't realize that uh, I was gonna be driving him. I don't know how to drive a boat. That's right, guys. I got my wetsuit on because the water's a little bit cold today. And uh, Bailey's never driven it before and he's gonna try to drive me on a wakeboard. He can't even do that. All right, y'all, here is the moment of truth. Guys, I can't believe this tiny boat. It's literally barely bigger than the wakeboard, like actually. 
the length of my wakeboard. Look at that! It's literally the same size as the. Yeah. He's driving a boat, basically smaller than my tiny wakeboard. This wakeboard's small. It's like for Liz. We got the squad out on this icy morning, and we are about to do a road trip. Where are we going, boys? Yo. We're going somewhere far. I'm a penguin today. Oh, Sorry, it's so cold. Hopefully, it's warmer where we're going. Well, we have a big 4,000 mile road trip ahead of us today, so we better head out. Let's go. Oh, crazy! Oh, videos always start with this. We got, I think this is like 1200, and then straight from the bank we got this. So we're gonna convert $10,000 in change to something amazing. Oh, wait, that's not even it. Is that it? That's not it. That's a that's small a, one. Wait, that's uh, not it? That's not it. Uh, that's, that's, not, that's not even it. Uh, wait, that's not it either. It? Texting the guy just pulled up, standing outside of not the right fire truck. Apparently this dude's got fire trucks all over the place. This is not it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, uh, that's the wrong truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a beauty. This looks great. Look how high the seat is. like a monster truck up here. You gotta climb up. The seat comes up to your head. It's like six feet up high almost. Jeez. All right, first time looking at this. We got like a deck up here. This is soft. And this ladder somehow goes 75 feet up. And I can't believe we just bought a Tele Squirt fire truck and we're about to drive this beast oh. home. Oh. It's moving, we're rolling. Matt's driving a fire truck. And just like that, I own my very own fire truck, but we weren't even able to test it. So I don't know if this Tele Squirt is gonna Tele or Squirt. So I can't wait to get home and see if it works. All right, bring her in. <laughs> Oh, we got the lights on. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! She's a beaut. We got it home. 113 mile road trip on 55 miles an hour. Definitely not getting a speeding ticket on this. Uh. The next day. Look who's on top of the truck. Woo! Whoa, here we go. We are officially. Oh my gosh, we are moving, y'all. Look how small they are. Look at this outrigger, that is no joke. This is it guys, I've been waiting since I've seen the listing. Oh, yeah. oh, it's moving. That means it might actually work. Keep cranking, Matt. No way. Guys, if this is fully operational, we're gonna be in business for some of the best YouTuber content ever. This thing is huge. That is so high up. Guys, I think we are on the same level as the tree line right now. Who's climbing up? Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's like a staircase to heaven. I'm literally walking up this thing like a firefighter, climbing up. This is insane. You're halfway. You're almost there. All right, I'm starting to get a little scared. Not gonna lie. I'm going all the way. Oh, it's starting to get wobbly. I don't. Oh, it's getting wobbly. I'm done. I'm done. You're right there, though. No, it's wobbly. It gets. It gets more dangerous. Check it out, guys. I bought a fire truck. Woo! Yeah. We got this thing working, but we really don't know how to use it. So we called our local to fire department and they said, bring it down. We'll show you how to use it. And that way I'll be able to finally go all the way to the top of the ladder for the very first time. All right, guys, we are at the fire station right now. Guys, look how big this ladder looks. Look how small they are. Oh, oh my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, run through it. Take it a shower. I got a lot more wet than I thought. <laughs> oh man. Guys, we're doing it in front of the whole fire department too. I have a lot to lose. Oh my oh gosh. My that is insane. All right, so uh, this time I actually have a little bit of safety. So that clips on like that. Oh my gosh, okay. Just seeing how tall it is up in the sky is crazy. I'm at the bottom right now, literally standing on the bottom rung. Oh my, it's kind of like tr doing the trampoline tower. I can't believe they're letting me do this. This seems scary. This is really high. I'm almost halfway, I feel like. Slow and steady. The way down actually might be scarier. We are getting way up here now. Looking down, looking up. I don't think people understand what it takes to be a firefighter. I don't even know if I have what it takes personally. I'm just trying to climb this ladder. Oh, getting close. Oh, what? My pants are totally falling down. At this point, I gotta go all the way. Oh, we made it to the top of the Tully Squirt, guys. Let's get a little view. Oh, 
my gosh, this doesn't even look real. I'm like way above the trees. Oh my gosh. Today I'm gonna be destroying my house to build a super secret gaming room just to hide from my hey, mom. This is my oh $12,000 secret gaming room. But sadly, this room is not secret enough. Everybody already knows about this secret gaming room, including my mom. So I'm gonna be building a secret gaming room inside my secret gaming room. The only problem is my mom is gonna be here in a few hours, and so I gotta get to work. It finally is delivered. Three, two, one. Oh, it's <laughs> huge. It's huge. This is gonna be our camouflage entrance. So just be careful. This thing was this wasn't cheap, by the way. Getting a custom print. This yeah. ridiculous. They make you pay extra. <laughs> Look at that. You got the paintbrush strokes on the face. That looks really good. <laughs> That's, that's exactly what you want, though. I can't even put it as high, but that's hilarious. Bringing the tools up. Once we're done, we're gonna have a new entrance. We won't have to come through this, and we can lock this up. Oh. oh! What's up? <laughs> They're out there. Check it out. <laughs> we're in a hole. Secret, it's so secret in here. Now that we have a hole in the wall, we're gonna need to add some electronics. So let's ask Andrew what he's working on next. This is gonna be the control panel that controls the whole gaming room. So the secret gaming room's gonna have a control panel? This is overkill. I know. This is <laughs> awesome. The control panel is complete and now it's time to install it. After many hours of doing wiring and electronics, it was time to add an entrance to the secret gaming room. This may look like a normal shoe rack, but little does everyone know that this is a secret ladder into our secret gaming room. Uh, I'm gonna be the first one to test it. So let's go. Yeah, so Nick finished installing these LEDs up here, and we're gonna have our clouds that go on top, and it's sound reactive. Woo! Andrew is now fortifying the entrance of wood to make sure it's nice and sturdy for easy access. Later today, we're having a huge party and we need to make sure that this is gonna be completely covered up. And as you can see, the house is a huge mess. So we're racing against the clock. We have just a few more hours to get the picture frame up there and sealed. How's the secret gaming room right, coming along? Final stages right now. So we're installing the coolest part, which is the hidden switch. It's gonna be a shoe right there, switch sits in that wood cavity and then the shoe is going to sit on top and you just twist the shoe and it'll open and close the painting. Oh, really what, dude? Ryan, what do you think of it? Yo, this is nuts. It's not done yet. Oh, look at the clouds. Oh, wow. That is crazy, man. This is dope. Alright guys, give it up for Andrew with the technical work up here. This is crazy. Yeah. What do you guys do? We're coming back to shower. Shower? Yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> you need a shower? No, it's not okay. Is it not? No. Bill. No, no, come here. What? Bill. Is he somewhere? No. Oh, he's on the wall. Phil, right. tell us to figure out which shoe is different. Mm. Yeah. Look at me. For our last and biggest prank, we have Albert. He's over in the kitchen preoccupied, so we're all gonna be climbing up to the secret room right now. Here we go. Run it up, run it up. <laughs> And we're in. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Where do you guys go? Yo, Albert, Brown Garage? Brown Garage, yeah. Brown Garage? Yeah. We're, I'm, we're, all, we're all going to the Brown Garage. Brown Garage. Stop this. You're going the wrong way. Hey, Albert, do you see that orange shoe? Yeah. No, not the croc. Right? In, it's like, uh, it's at like arm's height. It's not orange. It's a black shoe with orange on it. Yeah, I see it. All right, grab the left one and turn it to the left. Yeah! <laughs> Last week, 
a helicopter flew over my house and crashed in my backyard. That looks like it's gonna crash! Oh, 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 yo, yo, it literally just crashed in the backyard. The cops came and everything got out of hand super fast. But it gets worse because this whole thing was just a prank. That's right. I think I tricked everybody on Team Rar, and I think I tricked a lot of you guys as well. I think some of you figured it out. This whole thing was fake. It didn't even crash. But anyways, today's video is going to be totally different because I'm actually on my way to the airport right now to go shopping for my very own helicopter. Well, I think we see it, guys. It literally looks like a dragonfly or something from this angle. From this angle, it's like, wait, that thing flies? This is so cool. This is my first time seeing this thing. I didn't even really know what I was getting myself into. But uh, this is what we got, guys, and we're gonna put some gas in it, and then we're gonna go fly it. It's gonna be incredible. Oh my goodness. We're spinning it up! Woo! Oh, this is a real helicopter experience, man. I've been in a helicopter, but not like this. I was wobbling. It gets pretty loud. We are officially in the helicopter. Here we go! This video features activities performed by trained professionals in a controlled environment. Viewers should not attempt to reenact or recreate these activities. Oh, oh we're fine. Look at David over there. <laughs> we are literally just floating. It's just like that we are flying on top of top. The fact that I can just walk out of my house, hop in my own helicopter, fly in the air and go anywhere I want and fly around the neighborhood is just the coolest experience ever. It literally feels like having a superpower in real life. Now, guys, I got something crazy. It's something to add to the Team Bar collection, something for us to use for videos. It's another wild and crazy purchase. Oh, what? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> Check it out. You did not buy a. This is a prop. This doesn't work. This is not a functioning there's, helicopter. Yeah, there's, there's no, no way. way you, this. Dude, car I literally no just way. flew here. I just landed it here in the backyard. <laughs> 100%. Ryan, hurry up. It's got four seats. It has regular seat belts like a car. You just strap in and drive. It took the doors off. I didn't think you'd get more ridiculous than the fire truck, but this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just topped yourself. This is super this. rare and ridiculous. A fire truck, a Lambo, a Hummer, now a helicopter? What? I'm so confused, dude. And we have a liftoff in the t Rod helicopter. <laughs> fun flying this helicopter literally everywhere and then all of a sudden the engine shuts off. He said ready to rumble? The engine is off so what? he turned the engine no. off. We're going in for a crash land. This is not a drill. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think Stove definitely had enough of this helicopter, but as for me and Bailey, we were definitely not done yet and we wanted to step it up. For the boys! For the boys!
Ferraris are known for their exotic looks and super fast speeds. They're a status symbol of the rich and famous, but only a few can afford because they're super expensive, right? Well, today I'm gonna find the cheapest Ferrari in the country and buy it. Let's go to the dealership and go Ferrari shopping. Woo, our first stop. We are at Carolina Exotic Cars. Let's go inside and see if they have any Ferraris for sale. We were looking for the cheapest Ferrari possible. The first Ferrari is an SF90. It's brand new with a top speed of over 200 miles an hour. Let's see how much this thing costs. I mean, this looks good. What does this cost? This it goes around retail about 1.1 million. 1.1 yeah. million. <laughs> so definitely not the cheapest. Ferrari. This Ferrari 360 Spider is completely torn apart. It was in an accident, so therefore it has a salvage title. So so it should be the cheapest Ferrari here. I think it looks good, we'll take it. What do you think the price on this car is? Around 50, 40 to 50,000. 40, so 50,000. I think we gotta go cheaper even still. So you think this is the cheapest one you have? This is the cheapest one I have right now. <laughs> we might have to go nationwide, look on the internet, and we need to go way cheaper because I want to spend way less than 40 or 50,000 dollars on this Ferrari. Guys, I think we found it. The cheapest Ferrari for sale in the country. I went up to the house, I got my secret stash of cash. The truck is loaded up with the trailer behind it. Let's go look at this thing. This is, this is it? This is it, no joke. This is a box. It's buried. I am so sorry, but it is, you know, I don't even know if the thing runs. I'm just saying we want to get rid of it. Oh. Um, so, I want room. Yeah, oh, what? No, oh, what? It's a Ferrari. I don't know, how do, you, how do you know it's a Ferrari? Guys, You're like a oh, oh. oh! Does look legit. I'm gonna get the rest of this cover off. I mean, it's a Ferrari. It's it's red. It's looking definitely pretty rough. Oh, look. Oh, it literally says Ferrari. All right, we got the proof. There it goes. Ferrari. That's cool. Well, it looks like there's something there. Looks better than I thought. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're here to look at the old Ferrari. There was a, a posting for sale. So it turns out the mom posted the Ferrari for sale on Facebook without the dad knowing. I'm just hoping that he's okay with selling it to me. Otherwise, we're leaving empty handed. Well, we, uh, we drove a long way. I thought it was for sale. So you think you want to sell it? Well, if you can get it loaded and we get it all loaded and you're happy with it once you get it out of here and get it clean, cleaned up, then yeah, we can do it. We can do something. Okay, for sure. But it's gonna be a little bit of work to get it out of here. I mean, the brakes might be seized or something, you never know. We brought some tools, we're ready to make it happen. Sure. All right. Sound good then. Well, we got the camera set up. We are all just a big old family. Gonna push this thing and see if we can get it onto the trailer. Here it goes. Here's the family heirloom. Oh, and it's up! Yeah. Yeah. All right, the deal was if we could load on the trail and yep. make you an offer. So mm -hmm. the listing that you had said nine thousand yeah. dollars. So I think that's gonna be a fair price. If that's good with you. Yeah, I guess. Since you got it on the trail, we got the tires up. Great. And you're gonna take care of it, right? We're gonna take great care of it. That's 9,000. Okay. I can't believe we just bought the cheapest Ferrari in the entire country. Now we just gotta bring this thing back to the team bar house. Oh, it's a beauty. You did it. Come on, guys. Fingers crossed. Hit that like button. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Yes. Oh! It's running! It's working! Oh! <laughs> no. I mean, I think we I think we won. I think this is the best cheapest Ferrari ever. Not even two minutes into driving the Ferrari, this happened. I think I smell smoke. Is that smoke? So it's already smoking. First test drive. Oh no. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it's just the parking brake, but the engine's also in the rear, so it could be coming from the engine too. This is not good. The gas is not working. Oh no, and I'm not gonna make it up the hill. See that piece? So we obviously can't leave a Ferrari out in the open overnight, so we're just gonna put it in gear and just let it idle because the gas pedal literally is doing nothing. Wow, well, 
Mission success. This is the cheapest Ferrari in the country and it does run and drive. It's all there. What's up guys, Carter Sherry here. Today, I'm about to do something insane. I'm gonna be buying a Bugatti in cash. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Carter, how's it going, man? This is so nice, nice to meet you, so. Yeah, Thanks good morning, guys. Welcome in. to the first place. So I heard you have a uh, Bugatti. Here we got a Bugatti, yeah. You wanna start with that or? Yeah, I wanna take a look at that. All right, let's go. So we got the egg. One of 60, Regera, Bugatti, one of 20, 110th anniversary edition. The nice blue carbon fiber on here. All right, guys, this is the Bugatti. Yeah, I gotta ask, you know how much this costs, right? Well, yeah, how much does it cost? It's about five. Five million? Five dollars. Yeah. Oh, five yeah. million. We got a few things, you know, kind of lower tier if you need that No, too, no, no, it's fine. I think five good? is fine. We have about five million in cash, roughly. Oh, okay. I mean, right. do you well, think? It could be for sale. I think it could. We're the first people to ever buy a Bugatti in all cash. Cole, it was a pleasure. Just let me know how yes, much sir. change I have after you finish counting. All right, we'll do. Thank you. And guys, just like that, I'm a proud owner of a Bugatti Chiron. Oh my gosh, bro. That was the quickest deal ever because this isn't actually a dealer. This is technically a private sale. It's just hand the cash over, get the keys. Bugatti. Oh, oh. Oh, this thing is crazy. We're at a $5 million Bugatti. <laughs> Yo, we're actually, oh. I'm driving my Bugatti. Bro, I can't believe you're driving a $5 million car. I can't believe the FBI gave me the cash back. <laughs> so this is one of the fastest cars ever, like ever produced. The speedometer goes up to 300. Oh my. Is it actually? Yeah, it literally goes up to 300. I've never seen a three on a car before. Oh my God. Oh! Bugatti is really cool and all. If I'm gonna spend upwards of five million, I really wanna make sure I'm picking the right car. And they have other cars in here. Bugatti was good and all, but you know, I'm thinking, it might not be fast enough. Not fast enough. <laughs> like, I know the Dave's, top's like, It's what? the fastest car in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I suppose Tesla is faster zero to 60. Oh, come on. If I don't wanna go 300, I just want zero to 60 faster. Uh, so like, oh. Koenigsegg, follow. All right, Koenigsegg or Apollo? What do you think is gonna get more looks? Apollo. Apollo. Yeah. So you gotta go with Apollo. Then. Where, where is the Apollo? Right over here. Let's go. This ten of them in the whole world is the only one that looks like this. It's called the Carbon Dragon. You had to slide in. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is comfortable. First, you're gonna just flip that down one time. <laughs> Yo, what? There's a screen, There's a screen up, screen here, up too. here. Dude. So you're just priming all your hydraulic pumps right now. So. Put on the brake. Okay, what's on the brake? <laughs> All right, so you see that turns green. That means you're good to start it. And you're gonna start it by doing the same thing, but holding it in place. Okay, here we go. Let's start the Apollo. Three, two, one. The Apollo is insane. The drivability of it is just as insane as this thing looks. I don't think I'm gonna be driving this very easily on the road. This one is easy to drive. Koenig Okay. I'm gonna go count the money, check on those guys real quick. Yep. Make sure everything's good. And then uh, we'll get you out of here, all right? Sounds great. We got the Christopher Vaughn Conan Seg right here. And the craziest part about these cars, other than literally everything, the doors you'll notice they're not like Lambo doors, they're not like McLaren's. They have this, what they call a double helix linkage mechanism that allows the door to roll up and out as it goes. I could see myself in a Von Conan seg for sure. This is like the perfect combo of Bugatti 
and the craziness of the Apollo, but this thing is insane. Well, today is a super exciting day because I'm taking delivery of something extremely exciting. There it is through the trees. Oh, I got a glimpse. Oh, the grand reveal. No way. Hey, how's it going? I'm Carter. You Kevin? This thing is insane. Oh my gosh, it's even cooler than I remember. Yeah. Oh my Those God. wheels. It looks so tall. Oh my See how God. See it is? Yeah, it's so squishy. See this thing roll down. Watch, watch my Instagram. This has got, this is the opposite of that truck. Opposite. It's the quiet opposite. and a lot of travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just barely reach. Oh, my tippy tips. Oh. If it was an inch taller, I wouldn't be able to get it. <laughs> kind of feels like you're sitting in a regular, uh, regular Hummer. A huh? regular Hummer until you see the you roof see of the car the over there or you can't see the six foot human standing in front. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the title inside this envelope. I have a check. This should be what he needs. 35,000, perfect. 2,700 cash. All right, so this is the 2,700. And they're leaving with an empty trailer. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's like a workout every time trying to get up here. Woo. Put it in reverse. Now oh, we're off and moving. Oh my gosh. This thing is insane. It's so big. 20. What's the gauge cluster say? Oh, okay. This feels so fast. Well, it's the next day Team Bar is here, so we have to get some reactions of this. So, hey, Ryan, what? you ready? For what? All right. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? It's the daily driver. <laughs> Carter, what is wrong with you? I need a bigger oh, truck. Is it a Hummer? Yeah. It's a Hummer monster truck. I'm our first culprit right there. I think that's Lauren. Hello. I got it yesterday. Why? Because it's awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to drive it around. Well, have fun. <laughs> Thank you. That's so high. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, Keep your eyes shut. This thing sounds big. <laughs> Dude, I'm like shaky right now. <laughs> I can't even see them over the hood. It got warm all of a sudden. Oh, yo, that bass. Oh, oh, hold up. Hold up. In three, two, one, turn around. What is he? Oh! <laughs> what in the world is this? Oh, yo, this is. <laughs> yo. Oh, is this an H2? Monster truck? Hummer, dude. Yo, first off, I love the colors on this thing. Second of all, why is this so dang hot? <laughs> yeah, it's all We're taller than the fire truck right now. What the heck? That's insane. It makes that fire truck look so small. It's like a toy. You're gonna need to upgrade the fire truck now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here it goes. Oh my gosh, this is so steep. Oh, oh. bro. <laughs> no! Oh no! Know. I don't know, we might need to take it straight on. Alright. Try number two! Try number two! Let's see how this feels. Alright, we're straight on now. Oh! Oh! oh bro! I'm scared! Oh, I'm so scared right now! <laughs> <laughs> we're going back down. Oh, we're going back down. We're going back down. Oh! Oh, easy! Didn't even feel it that time. <laughs> I will say, from this angle, guys, like, we can't see Drew in front of us. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful I don't run him over. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, jumping down these trucks is insane. Well, this is just the start. I have a lot planned for this one, but we're gonna do some crazy stuff, especially because this is going to be the biggest truck street legal allowed <laughs> on the road. We tried it with this one, the cops came, and it's not gonna work. But this one, 
should be street legal according to the law.